What's my secondary runes? Um, I want Transcendence Gathering this game because it's pretty good for scaling. And um, Aurelia Lane's actually not bad for Glide. It's pretty good. I think. I'm against Sword actually. He's a really uh, good player. He's a mid lane main, but he, I, I'm assuming he can play. Like he plays Aurelia mid, so he should be fine on Aurelia top. It's a little bit of a different lane, but it's not too bad. You going into high school this year? Hey, good shit, man. Good luck. You got this. I've been shit stomped by a few Aurelias. Yeah, I have definitely have before as well. You just have to play it smart early on. You don't want to like, you don't want to trade with her unless she doesn't have her passive stacked up. Like if she has her passive stacked up and she lands an E on you, you will get like hundred zero. So you have to just play smart. So yeah, you just have to play it smart. Like you want to trade with her if you have your combo up and she doesn't have her passive stacked up from her Q. If her Q stacked up with her passive, there's no reason to try to trade with her. She'll just shit on you. So yeah, I kind of want to put a ward here just in case they're invade. I don't think they're gonna invade, but I'm just making sure. I don't want to risk it because it's the least in really. Yeah, they they can definitely invade level one and cheese us. So yeah, hey, how's it going, flaming? Should I queue out and then queue back in? Yeah. She might actually be cheesing here. No. Alright, we're gonna full focus again though, guys. Uh, I'll try to reach out as much as I can, but usually in lane, I don't read it too much when I'm playing on my Grandmaster account. That's really good. I predicted her dash with my Q. Well, not really predicted, but like I threw it on the minions, so then she had to go into it. She got chunked quite a bit. Although I lost a couple minions, it's worth it, because now she's getting zoned, because she got chunked. And now she's scared. So now we have Pryo in this lane for a bit. Which is good. Just keep zoning her off CS if possible. She wants to try to freeze it though, so I have to crash the next wave. It's a cannon wave, isn't it? Yeah. We did deny her some minions though, and also chunked her a bit. But she's she's basically full HP now. Like I'm not really looking to fight her yet, unless she obviously like goes in really hard. I don't think she's gonna get going on that, yeah. No. If she had her passes stocked up, then maybe, but... Oh my god. I got minion block there, so I had to waste my E just to try to get to the minion. I didn't even get it either, which is annoying. I was making sure the wave crashes. Perfect. Actually, I'm not gonna back yet, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not gonna back yet. I was thinking about it, but no. I could have gotten like a uh, sword and walked back, but I don't think it's worth it, honestly. I think it's better just to win it. So. This is why I have to be careful though. As I mentioned, like she has her passive stacked up, so I just want to chill for now. Because this is where she wants the wave to be. Oh, she actually messed up. She, uh, Mr. Q. She still has her passive stacked up though. Oh, I'm actually dead. They double flash on me. I should have. Damn, I should have backed off, I guess. That's actually really unlucky. Damn. It's fine. I just screwed it a little too much. It happens. I should have just reset, though. That was my bad, I guess, for greeting. I should have expected Lisa to be topside, if anything. I feel like he could be here. I'm just gonna check. Just to make sure. No, okay. He's not. I lost like one minion for it, but I'm just making sure he's not invading. Yeah, I didn't really miss much. It's just, it's, it's still a pretty bad death by me because now she has um, an advantage on me in the lane. I got two flashes at least, but yeah. As soon as I saw him, I'm like, fuck. I had to try to just flash right away, but I really got on me. I shouldn't have fought her though. Because uh, I forgot her passive still stays on her until, um, um, like, if she autos you, she refreshes the passive. Too, so she had her passive stacked up, so she was doing so much damage to me. At the same time, Ms. Leeson just going on me. So, yeah, I have the wave in a pretty bad spot now, too. Ah oh, man.
Oh my. Okay, I just smurfed that. Let's go. Can someone clip that? I'm actually just smurfing now. Holy shit. I'm actually just going off now, boys. It's over. They unleashed the boy. Let's go. Why? And for anyone wondering why I ulted there right away when she TP'd, she's level 4 with no passive stack. So I know I can just go in because I'm like full HP. And she just loses so much, dude. The game's actually over now. She's so fucked. I've actually just taken over this game. Let's fucking go, baby. That's so huge, actually. Hey, thanks for the clip, my man. Let's go. I've actually just taken over. They overforced. I knew if I got to the tower, I could probably kite it. I didn't think I was going to die, but I didn't expect them to commit that hard. Who's on our slash feet? Avoid true. I think he's good. Yeah, he's good. Oh, I actually missed that minion. Yeah, I like it out here. Freedom, communing with nature. Killing us. I'm forcing him to have to back now so he loses this wave. Because he stays, he dies. I just dive him. They're all bot side because of drag, so I can actually shove this for free. And not be worried. And I really get TP still down. So I can actually look for some plates here. I'm only gonna get one though. No one Just so I can get my recall off in time. No! No! Really good. Okay, posted a bug. Hopefully they don't die. Oh my god, that's so unlucky. They're actually all one HP. That's so tragic. Oh, wait, the gym? <gasps> Good job, boys. Good fucking job. Pog. Whew. God, this game's going really well now. It went from being really, really bad for me inting that one play to me uh, getting a free three kills like it's nothing. And then get another kill afterwards, too. And she greeted to try to stay for the wave. Yeah, now look at my damage. Like, this is what I mean. Like, if you whoever snowballs in this lane just takes over. I feel like Clad Salt snowballs even harder than Aurelia though in this lane, just because I have the healing reduction and stuff. And I just do so much damage and can just dive her constantly. If I play it right. I don't want to dive here though, because I don't know where her team is, so I'm not gonna force it. It's not worth it. Yeah, look who's here. See, that's what I mean. That's why I didn't want to force it. I knew someone was coming. So we're just gonna chill for now.
Ah, oh, that was a really bad Q. I tried. Maybe I should have just left it. I should have probably peeled back afterwards. Like... Damn. Fuck. That's really unlucky. I shouldn't have went that. I should have just reset after. Sword of streaming too? Yeah. He's really good. He is auto-filled though. And in this lane, I, I think it's Clyde favored, if at least early on, if Clyde plays it correctly. So. Yeah. And they just... I think it's Jungler just overforced the dive. I don't even know if he was really Swords fault. I think it's Jungler's fault for forcing it, and then he got forced into a really bad situation. So then, yeah. And if a Clyde gets ahead, it's literally just doomed. He did kind of troll though with his TP afterwards. I guess he didn't really expect the burst, but he's level 4, I'm level 6, and he's trying to TP in on me when he has nothing up, like right in the middle of a wave, so I just go on him. Ah, uh, yeah, TSM Swords the earlier. Really, yeah. How old is he? I think he's like 16, right? Something like that. But he's really, really good. It's just, yeah, I really is better mid lane for sure. And also, yeah, he, he just kind of got cooked. I couldn't do much there. Do I reach here? No. Nah, whatever. I, I, I stole her off the plate at least. I just back off then. We, we can't get the drag. It's not worth it. Because I don't want to give up a uh, free tower. So it's not really in letter snowball. I just have to reset. I thought he was going to go in there. I'm gonna try to walk, but I think they're both dead. Or they're all dead before I get there. I'm trying my best to get there in time, though. Damn. Please don't die, man. Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah, he just entered for no reason. Oh, nice. My team's just running it down. And I lose first tower top now. Ah, oh, my team's trolling. That's really annoying. 
I actually lose first tower now off that. Damn. That's actually so annoying. Cause yeah, I just kind of give away my lead now. Well, I mean, I'm still up a decent amount, but like, it's not as much as it should be. That's really annoying. They like, just literally just had to wait for me, but they just didn't want to wait, I guess. I don't even know what to do right now. I guess I'm going top. Actually, I should probably look for a plane bed. She bought three Dorans? Yeah, it's a build for... Like, ADCs can go it. Like, it's pretty good on MF, because it just makes them really tanky early on. And decent AD. It's really cheesy, but it makes them pretty tanky early on in lane, and it's more lane dominant. Like obviously, it's it makes her scaling a little bit worse because like she's spending so much gold on D blades. But early on, she can just take over, and if she gets ahead like this, then it's really hard to do anything. All right, I guess my team just doesn't want to win the game. Damn, what are they doing? They're literally just running it. Actually, wait, maybe they win this. Okay. Never mind, we won this. Maybe I should be. Uh, maybe I should just group. Uh, I kind of greeted for the uh, minions, I guess. I, I didn't think we were going to win that. But I guess we just went out. Okay, maybe I should just be grouping then. They, MF did you just get picked off. Well, that's the main reason why they lost that really hard. It's because MF died right away. Yeah, MF is really strong in general, for sure. I don't know why Diana is anything like that, but it's whatever. Okay, the double or triple D e ring though, that's I've never seen that. I feel like that's cool. I can see like double being alright, but triple I feel like it's a little too much because like you don't even get that much value out of that compared to like a D blade would. Like D I think D double D blade's better than double or, or triple D blade's better than triple D ring. I feel like that is not giving enough value to go three on. Like maybe I'm wrong though. But I feel like that's kind of true. Yeah, I know. It's, it's actually insane. MF uh, Q. It's really disgusting. Especially when she gets fed. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I kill him here. I, I think I had the flash there. I EQ flash so we couldn't react. I wasn't sure if he had flash up, so I just wanted to do it just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure if I don't flash there, he gets away. So I have to just look for it. Just buy PD. This is really, really huge if we get this flank off. I think this is a really, really good fight. Yeah, we, we get on the MF. Huge. That's such a good engage. They overextended way too far. Let's go. Good shit, boys. The macro, baby. Ah, Phantom Dancer is PD. It's a great item, but it gives you uh, a shield, which is nice when you're low. But I usually don't really go PD too much on Clyde. I just go like a Starax instead. So it's gonna go. For like your negating burst. Like, it's obviously not like a horrendous item, it's just a really, really greedy item. I'm actually just dead. Ah, we needed to just back off. That's really bad because now they get so many shutdowns and drag. Damn. We greeted that way too hard. I really just got so much gold. She's got three kills and like 1k worth of shutdowns as well. Oh, no, she just got. She's actually so huge now. Full curtain acting, true. Cleds go, true. Ah, uh, I don't know about this play, Diana. 
Wait. Wait a second. Maybe it is oh, actually not bad. Wait, actually, never mind. She smurfed that. I think we can actually do this. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure we can because they have no sums now. That actually could be a really, really good thing, actually. This KDA now. Nah, it's just if you win or lose. That's pretty annoying, obviously. Like, if you're playing really well and then you lose just because of your team. But, yeah, no, nah, KDA doesn't do anything, unfortunately. I'm just stalling for my team to get the Baron for free. Hit the thing! Oh my. I literally only did that. Just so we could get the Baron and then we lost like all of our Barons. I don't know, they, they literally were fighting the Diana instead of DPSing it, but whatever, it's fine. Reason how well you play it. I mean, the only issue with that is I, I would Riot actually code that then though, because like people could just literally just play for KDA every game and not actually try to win the game. Like they could literally just like get a good KDA and then just farm for the rest of the game and not actually put the game out. So that's like the one issue with it too. So like, it, it'd be like a hard system to like, master, like actually make. That's why I think they don't do it like that. That's like the one downfall to having like team, team games. But yeah, like if the AI was like insanely intelligent and actually could do that, that would be nuts. But I, I, th I think it's too much to ask for. Because, yeah, people could learn to play for KDA every game rather than trying to win the game. We need to get multiple waves if we want to look for this. Okay, I got my GA off this wave, and then I'm going to reset, and then we look for something. Okay, I have my item. I'm pretty sure we just 1-3-1 it, because, like, me and Diana should both be able to win on uh, a sideline pretty easily. My ATPs should be up. I I'll come for drag 100%. I just need to get prior. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't think giving it, like, just based off individual play would be, like, super great. It, it, it's just a awkward scenario. I feel. I'll just push out this wave. Really fucking good, I think. Oh yeah, I got on the back line. Nice. Okay, yeah, GG. We actually went off this. I think we can end, can't we? Ah, uh, maybe not. Actually, 
No, never mind, we can't end. We just got the uh, end hit, I guess. Come back off. Okay, nice. That's not that bad. That's really good. They trolled that really hard. They can't fight like that. Because they just shredded their ADC. Hey, I was going full metal. Yeah, no, I, I definitely feel it though. It's just like, yeah, it, it's the system's just really hard to make like that. Like, it'd definitely be insane though if they could. Or maybe there should be like a report, like uh, a button at the end of the game where you like, you can get it, the game reviewed and maybe you get some LP back if like the Riot members see that the game's actually being briefed. That could be a cool way of doing it as well, but that'd be a really, really hard way for them to do it. But like if the Riot members like reviewed the game and stuff. Do you think Mondo is OP? I don't think he's OP. He's just really, really annoying. Like, if he goes jungle and gets um, Cinder Hulk and, like, Warmogs and shit, and he's just really, really tanky, he can be very annoying. But I still don't think the champ's, like, OP. He's just a very, very annoying champion to have to deal with. Yeah, we won off that. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Well, this is a good game. Oh, let's go. 2 0 on the day. Let's go. Finally, 